Hey guys, once again, welcome to the Learn Automation. I am going to show about the part 2 video of uh, introduction to canes. In here, we are going to see about a new concept called uh, latching and unlatching and some uh, problems based on canes. And I will show the problem based on timer and a counter and a mixed problem based on timer and counter itself. Uh, let's go into software right now. Before that, uh, I need to go into a concept called latching. Okay. Let's see about what is latching. Latching is a technique which is used to get the output continuously high even when the given input goes low. It, uh, to explain simply, in a simple word, if the input is on, the output will be on. Even though after the input is off, it should be on. So the latching condition is used by giving a feedback from that same uh, by using a memory by giving a feedback using a memory what is unlatching means it is opposite to latching to cut off the output uh, another switch is used to unlatch it so let's see an example in it a push button is the is the example for latching we use a memory in a push button to operate in a, in that way to explain it about if the push button is on the motor will be on after the push button is off like a like a pressing mode right so if on on if we release means also on so again on means it will be off so we can use in a, we can see in the tv push buttons or in some push buttons also I mean other push buttons also it will work in the same manner so to give a to see in a ladder diagram the circuit will be like this push button is given to a memory a memory is given as a feedback to it so if the push button is off also the memory will be in on condition so in the same manner for push button on off on off on off the the memory is given it's a it's a condition it, it, it is based on this condition only to to act as a push button another condition another type of uh, connection another type of ladder diagram is used i will explain the next video in this video i'm going to show in this video i'm going to teach about only this uh, this problem only so for uh, for a push button on the memory is given off the memory is given like that five five, uh, five times the push button on off is given so the condition is given like if the push button is on should be on again if the push button on only it should be off so for uh, m not and m2 it should be on and off and uh, for again m4 and m5 it should be on and off so m0 is on m2 is given as an nc so it, it will be off again in m4 is given as an on and m5 is given as an nc off so this is how the latching concept works so let's go into the software to deal with some little problems the first problem is this one I have already done this problem, so I will explain it clearly and I will proceed with the simulation. So let's see how it works. Okay. To open a new project, file new project is given. A project name will be given and a model will be KV24 because we are using KV24 model. And any model can be given according to the PLC, but I don't have a PLC, I don't have a PLC right now. So I'm going to only stimulate in the software only. So I already done that problem. So go to file, open project, uh, like uh, pro one. Yeah, uh, this is the concept. I already done it. So because it will be less time, so you can, it is, it will be easy to understand. So I will uh, short this one. So for the first for the first condition, if S1 and S2 on, M1 and M2 on. Like I will teach from the first for the first program, I will teach itself. How to do it? I will. If I say if I show only, it will be easily understandable. So for the first condition, like S1 on. R S2 on M1 M2 on R means it should be in parallel. R means it should be in parallel. So let's see. Zero 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 zero. Yeah. 
so it is given and a motor which is 0500 0001 is given as a parallel condition so f8 is given as a parallel two motors right so 0501 so again two motors the second condition is like s3 and s4 on m3 on so it should be given in a series so 0002 and uh, 0003 should be given to a motor 0502 so it is given again if uh, if so again the third condition is like um, if, if s5 is on m3 and m2 off so yes, if s5 is on it should cut off means we should give us as an nc so 0004 s5 and as an nc in here also 0004 so let's go and check in the simulation to transfer it to the plc we have a let's go to editor mode so to explain transfer to the plc we have a icon like this so it can transfer this data to the plc for simulation mode we have an icon like this simulator ctr plus f2 or we can use in here also simulator after stimulating we need you need to give a play button so it will be in a running condition so let's check how the program works if s1 is on m1 m2 on or if s2 is on m1 m2 on both on also on so it works perfectly if s3 is on and s4 is on it should be on so if any one of the input is off it will be not working so it is working correctly if s5 is on m2 and m3 should be off the same address is given so it's a same switch so a same address should be given it can be repeated in switch side the, uh, if you read the rules the switch side uh, this it can be repeated as an nc or as an L no for the rules i have given the introduction to automation i have given in introduction to plc i have given the rules in that you can check that video so let's go to the second problem a timer problem if s1 is on after 10 seconds m1 and m2 on if s2 is on after 10.25 seconds m1 off so i have already done this program let's open it pro 2 i have given right yes this is the it is the thing i am going to show how, how to open a timer by clicking in here we can give you can type in the keyboard right tm r space address 000 space ash if this is a 10 seconds divided by 0.1 which is 100 so it is given like this so uh, you can also give the comment in here you can give a name in here so it is uh, uh, to this uh, problem if s1 is on after 10 seconds m1 and m2 on so m1 and m2 is given in here which is the timer is called in here as an uh, as an input and the input is connected to the motor which is m1 and m2 on given in parallel condition the second condition is s2 on after 2 uh, after 25 seconds m1 off so uh, s2 is given and is given to a timer which is 10.25 seconds to 10 if the if a decimal value if a i decimal value is given after after the after 10 a two decimal value is given so it, it should be so accurate so we need to use that uh, syntax like tmh high speed timer space 001 we have already used 000 so 001 space ash 1025 because divided by 0.01 right so 1025 seconds 25 milliseconds so 10.25 seconds so it is given like that okay comment also given so write it then it is called as a, it is called as an nc in here so cut to cut off this so let's check in the simulation mode play button is given so if the s1 is on after 10 seconds m1 will be on and m2 will be on
Okay. If the S2 is on after 10.25 seconds, M1 will be cut off. M1 is cut off. It will be very. It, uh, timer is used when uh, an high accuracy is needed. So this is how the timer works. Let's see the counter. This is the simple counter uh, question. We switch on arm after five count, uh, motor on. I'm not to give the five count. We let's give as a five count. So I have already done the program itself to save the time. But I will uh, explain. Program 2.1 yes. Okay, this is how this is. The counter is the same like that, the timer itself. We need to give the syntax, like type in the computer. It's a, yeah, like speed, the syntax is like C space, counter address, which is 000, space, from 000 to 109. So 000, space, uh, five counts, right? So ash, five, space, and a memory address, thousand. So it is created. Then a sensor is called in here, which is a sensor. Sensor is called in here, which is given to a memory. This is the memory. You can give it as an M0 in here. So this memory is related to this counter. So uh, whenever the, it is enabled, the, uh, it, the count will be enabled. The counter will be enabled and it will give a count to it. So this counter is connected with a motor. So let's go and see in the simulation mode how it works. Then the, it is in running condition. I have given the run condition. So and the input is on. The counter is on. Counter will be uh, enabled. After the sensor gives us a, give the sense to it. Since to a sensor gives a pulse to the M0 memory. It is given to a counter, which is 1. And again, uh, 2, 3. Four, five. After five counts, it is enabled. Counter is enabled, and they gives to a, it gives a connection to the motor. So this is how the counter works. The same way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you have to edit a more. Then the last problem problem is like a combination of both uh, counter and uh, timer. It is like it is a traffic uh, light concept will be working in a traffic like concept if the push button is on red light is on after five seconds after five seconds uh, red light off yellow light on after five seconds yellow light off green light on after five seconds green light off red light on the, it will be in a continuous process the, then the counter is used in here to count the process after three uh, three rotation of this red yellow and green red yellow and green the process will be cut off and a push button is used to stop the process in the middle of it. I have already done the program. Let's see in here. Traffic light. Yes, traffic light. So this is the la program. It will be looking like lengthy, but it's nothing. It is a simple program only. Uh, I will explain now. If the push button is on, it is given to a memory. A memory is given as a latching, uh, which is given as a feedback to it. The feedback, it will be running, it will be running after the push button is off also. So this memory is given to a timer, which is five seconds. The timer is given to a, with the memory and the timer is given to a red light. After, uh, if the red light is, after uh, timer is on, it is given to another timer, which is a five seconds. After red light on, after 5 seconds, it will be, T0 will be on, which will cut off the red light and will enable the yellow light. That T0 is again given to a timer, which will, uh, after, which will be enabled after 5 seconds, which will cut off the yellow light and enable the green light. And uh, again, the timer T1 will be given to a timer T2, which will, uh, which will enable, which will cut the, uh, which will give the, which will cut the T4, uh, T4. And again enable it so it will be a continuous process it will be a repeating process till the stop push button is on so uh, a counter is given to a 
a counter is given to a memory to count it after three process after the repetition of three it will be cut off so let's see in the simulation mode play is given so if a push button is on off the memory is given to a counter so after 5 seconds red light on after 5 seconds yellow light on after 5 seconds green light on so this process will be repeated continuously after 3 times it will be cut off so the second time is running So it's the third time is running. I will uh, zoom out and uh, I will show you. So this is how it's running. The timer is running, and will uh, after this timer run, it will be this timer is connected to a counter, which will, which cut off it. All the process is cut off right now. Yeah. The push button is used when the when the process need to be suddenly stopped uh, is the process is on right now so if the after hello button i will push the stop button it will be off so it's in the middle of the process if the push button is off it will be uh, if push button is on it will the uh, whole process will be reset so again if the push button is uh, on off it will, it can be continued so memory memory is given to a timer which after 5 seconds the red light will be on after 5 seconds yellow light will be on after 5 seconds green light the process will be done this is how the automation is uh, done thanks for watching please like comment and share and subscribe thanks guys for watching